Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're here to talk about Top Gun Maverick, the sequel to Top Gun. <clears throat> and this drops next week, I've been wanting to get around to this forever to react to the trailer. I've watched the trailer a million times, I managed to get around to watching Top Gun for the first time this year as well. A fantastic, well put together 80s film, Tom Cruise truly is it's truly his best role he's ever done. But I'm, I'm hoping, and what I've heard from the reviews, this is better. You know, the red carpet was last night. Um, so, you know, spoilers going to be out there. Information's out there. Reviews, it got 100% like the first week. And it went down to like 96. I don't know where it's at now, but still incredible. And it's said to be his greatest film of all time. Even better than the Mission Impossible films. Um, even better than the first Top Gun. So, spoilers have, of course, we're going to go into spoiler territory as I discussed a little bit from the first film. As I would say, I give context to the second film. Subscribe and like, let's go. So Top Gun Maverick is obviously the sequel, as I said, set, what, 40 years, 30, 40 years later after the first film, where Maverick was a reckless pilot working alongside the likes of Iceman and Goose. And obviously Iceman and him made up at the end with Goose obviously being the only main character to die in the film. So it was a huge blow to the characters and which obviously brings us to this film with Maverick returning to the Navy to assist them in um, pilot training and, you know, pushing the best out of the other students. His son, Goose's son, Rooster, appears in this with Miles Teller being the character. And you can see the, the tension that's going to be between these two characters all the way through. Because obviously, Miles Teller's character, Rooster, did appear in the first film as obviously a young kid that obviously, you know, looked up to his dad and obviously wanted to do this as a career. He's here. And now he's being mentored and shadowed by uh, Maverick teaching him the ways of being a good pilot. You can see the comical aspects, you can see the series and the emotion elements that are going to feature in this film. Jennifer Conley obviously comes in as obviously the replacement, the love interest of, I can't remember her name, the a woman from the first film. You know, she mentioned and commented on this. She said, obviously, she's a lot bigger than she used to be. Visually, she doesn't work for the screen. They were the comments of the woman from the first film, and that's why obviously Jennifer Conley of Labyrinth is in this one. Um, Tom Skerritt will appear and obviously reprise his role in a background role with Iceman set to appear as Val Kilmer. Uh, so incredible to see some of these characters returning to the roles that they played in the 80s film. Kilmer looking very good, I think, to this day. So you could recognise him when it comes on screen. The same with Skerritt. You know, Skerritt's a lot pushing his 80s. So you should still be able to recognise certain characters when they come on screen. There's a picture and a poster of Kilmer um, I don't know. I hope that's not his only appearance. I hope he actually appears in physical form. Um, and we get that interaction between Maverick and Iceman. So that'd be really cool to see Kilmer return to the screen after a long period of time. Um, you get to see characters like Hangman and, you know, the, the, the girl who had the arrogance of saying, we're the best at what we do, who could possibly come in to teach us. And then Maverick just embarrasses them immediately. So the jet scenes look incredible. Um, you know, I thought they were amazing in the 80s, but they look even more elevated and flush and crisp and just the camera work is beautiful. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's just going to be such a brilliant story. You don't really know what the story is. A few people obviously die in the trailer. Um, they're obviously going on a very dangerous mission that even one of the characters says that Maverick's never been on. So it elevates what he did in the first one. And now he's been put in a situation where he has to, you know, help and protect the people he's working with now. Be a good influence for Rooster. Do what he couldn't do for Goose and do it for Rooster. Uh, and obviously, because Iceman suggested him, he has to live up to the name and how well he was back in the day. So, like I said, it's going to be a very comical film, very heart-hitting film. Going to be a lot of emotion in this film. Definitely, as I said, between Rooster and Maverick. Um, I think it'd be good to see Iceman return. Um, and I think it'd be good for Maverick to learn from some of his mistakes he made back in the day. So... An incredible trailer, visually, camera work. Uh, as I said, story-wise, apparently it's meant to be incredible. Um, and a brilliant cast of John Hamm, uh, Miles Teller and Jennifer Conley joining the group of already fantastic people. And yeah, I think this film's going to be incredible. I can't wait to watch it this week. Obviously, with Kenobi and Strange Things also dropping this week and the Life is Strange finale comic. So it's going to be a brilliant week for con uh, content and media. So stay tuned on the channel, of course. And make sure you check out the first Top Gun because you need the context of why Maverick's back, the relationship between Iceman and the relationship between Rooster. Otherwise, you won't understand a single thing that's going on and you'll just be watching people get killed and fly around in jets. 
if that's something you're interested in, then yeah, do whatever you want. But yeah, stay tuned for the review coming this week, maybe Saturday. But of course, we will have to wait and see what happens. So stay tuned for that. And of course, subscribe and like. Goodbye.